Hey everybody, welcome to Ellis Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching the channel as always. I have a Cub Cadet that's a customer's mower that's come in for basically uh, changing the belts and the blades on it. What it's doing, it runs good, drives okay. Uh, the drive belt on it is too thick. I think it's one of those aftermarket ones. And the deck belt on it is too thin. I think it's just a little worn and it has some cracks from use. So we're going to give everything an inspection, make sure there's no like bad spindle bearings or anything like that while we do it and the blades are pretty trashed i think that's where some of the vibration is coming from it is running cutting driving but it's kind of a little off like i said the a lot of vibration coming from the deck i do see the belt vibrating quite a bit so i think it's that and then the drive belt i think it drives a little sticky drives a little funny so we're going to swap those drive belts off i'll show you how thick that one is and we'll put the blades on it so let's go ahead and get started if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me ellis at ellismowers.com or at ellismowers09 on instagram and facebook all right guys before we get into it i want to recommend use oem belts for this get your model number right here in the back this is a 2006 model and this model number is a 17AA5D7P709. Serial number is 1E226. The fifth digit indicates 6, means this was made in 2006. Your two OEM belts that you're going to need OEM stems rotary. Those are your only options. Don't use them cheap aftermarket ones. I've done it, it doesn't work. Uh, this is a stems 265211 for the drive belt. It replaces 954-04043B. And then for the deck belt, 754954 are interchangeable when it comes to MTD parts. This one's an 04044A. This is the deck belt. So uh, those are the belts. To give you all a baseline, this is a 50-inch Cub Cadet RZT. It's probably around, I don't know, around 2010 model year or so and got the kawasaki on it 50 inch deck the stamp deck not the welded deck and got the really good kawasaki on it the guy got it he got it running and driving uh, i think with that new drive belt and a lot of sea foam in the carburetor kawasaki's a run for a good little while it looks like it's kind of been recently serviced that oil filter looks fairly new and we just got to get the deck off of this thing first what i usually do is come down here and get under this watch the muffler though because it can be hot because I did I did just pull this in here a lot of times what I can do to get these things off is just pull the belt around the PTO clutch a lot of times that'll get it enough slack for it to come off so let me see if I can do this real quick kind of show you what I'm trying to do here hopefully y'all are seeing it again I just popped it around the PTO clutch it came right off so now the deck is actually free to come off what we've got to do hopefully y'all saw that on the front is nothing actually what we got to do on the sides is take these two pull hooks off here which I may need two hands for Put y'all on the tripod while I do this. But I'm going to take that hook off the side. And I'm going to take the other hook off of this side. And that should be all that we need to do here. The other side.
Just kind of work it back and forth a little bit. You could probably put a little bit of lubricant on it, or I'm going to try and get a screwdriver here. See if I can use it as leverage to pull it off. Maybe some pliers. Just give it a little bit of extra gusto. There's a bracket on the front here that you have to slide the deck forward to get it out from underneath. Once you do that, lift that up out of the way, you can pull it back, and you might have to jack up the front, I'm not sure, but you can just slide the deck out after that. So let's do that. All right, so there we go, the deck is off. Now we have access to the drive build as well. We'll get to that in just a second. I'll cover all the deck stuff first. What you got to do, it looks like we got half inches right here that are holding this on. Take these two plates off. You don't even have to, but we're, I don't think you have to because it's not, well, you don't have to. But if you want to inspect everything, you can. And the, all the spindle bearings seem good, so I think it was just the belt that was causing an issue. You have your deck, deck, deck belt routing guide right there deck belt's a little cracked and a little bit thin so almost like it's been struggling a little bit or slipping so we've got that out we've got a new deck belt coming actually it's here already quick visual inspection this tensioner is working that that washer is split and then all these are all these are turning like they should be. So we'll turn the deck over, look at the um, blades next. All right guys, with the deck off like this, it's now time to put the blades on. Here's the old ones. I don't really see where they're bent, but they are definitely ready to be replaced. Uh, you can see that the edge is starting to wear back on them some. So I got some rotary blades, because they were the cheapest I could find. Better than just generic blades, right? The rotary blades actually have like a bow tie look to them. And that's Rotary's version of MTD blades, essentially. So they just pop on just like so, and they work just fine with the bow tie. Or with the six-point star, they're designed for it. So I learned that when I did a 38-inch cut MTD a few months ago. And that had those same blades on it. So impact to get them off and on is what you should or is the ideal situation here getting these blades off can be a chore i did wire brush these things to make it easier to get off the next time i need two hands but i'm just going to impact this on and then we'll move on to the drive belt so drive belt time i was like how in the world does this work but i figured it out there's underneath here, we're gonna go underneath the mower. There is a tension spring, you see it dangling right there. It hooks on right here on the left rear. You have to take that off, or un you have to loosen it. I did it with a screwdriver, we'll put it back on with like a hook or something. And so that, what that does is it lo loosens that pulley so that you can get the belt off. So we're going to uh, see if I can get the belt off here now. Underneath. So it has to go above your hydrostatic pulleys in the rear. And this belt, like I said, is not the correct belt for it. So it's going to be a little bit of a chore to get off, but nothing too terrible, I don't think. 
get it off of this little pulley first. Or this tensioner pulley. And then underneath, I know y'all can't see it, but you got to get it off above the hydrostatic transmission fans. We're going to try and we're going to pull it off of this back drive pulley first. That allows me to get it over the hydrostatic fans a little bit easier. And we should just be able to drop this thing out here in just a second. Let's see what we can do. We might have to unplug the PTO clutch as well. Let's see what we can do here. Oh no, we got it. So it goes under all that. So that's how you get it off. Let me compare the old belts to the new one for you all before we uh, put these on. All right, y'all, let's compare. It kind of actually looks like this main drive belt here is about the same, but it's got some age on it, I think, because it's not very flexible. That might be a Stens number right there, but it's old you can see it's got some wear in the grooves and stuff so it could use it this one like i said is too thin or it's kind of thinned out on the inside and started cracking just from age so we've you can see kind of how the inside v is a little bit thinner than this v on the new belt and so that'll help i think this one just got kind of loose because whenever this stuff gets worn on the inside it's going to shorten the length of the belt and cause it to not be as tight. So I confirm they're all the same size. So now just simply putting it back on, um, like I said, these are either Stens belts or rotary belts or OEM belts. And that's the only way to go on these MTDs. So y'all saw me take off the drive belt. It's hard for me to film. I'll put that on. Again, you need to put it over the hydrostatic fan uh blades first after you put it on the p over the pto on the back side and then put it around your tensioner pulley get some sort of mechanics wire or some sort of hook of that nature and some pliers and pull that tension spring back once you pull that back lock it in place your drive belt is done and then i'll show you how to route the deck belt on the mower deck before we put it back on all right guys we got it back on should be much better now or should drive somewhat better at least for them so again it's best to have the deck off and do it while the deck's still off because you can get in the front and get them around these hydro pulleys and then just make sure you get it past the pto clutch first go get the hydro pulleys you could either put it on this the pto pulley next or the crank pulley and put the tensioner pulley one on last and then use some rope or mechanics wire or something along that nature to get the spring back on i'm just gonna cut the wire off the rope here or cut the rope off and that'll be good and you got the spring back on so we're good in that nature and feel confident that it's going to drive just fine because it was driving okay before and we will move on to the deck belt just be careful with the deck trying to move it around because those wheels will get you and that wheel came or it came down on my foot the deck did whenever it fell down here for me to put the blades on did not feel good there for a few minutes guys so just be careful when it comes to that make sure all your clearances and stuff are good on the blades they come by very close and they look even so that's good we will put on uh the deck belt next so I'll get this thing turned over so let's take a look at the deck uh, every pulley except for the PTO pulley is on and I started from here and just went around luckily I have a belt guide right there if you don't take a picture of the belt routing if you still got the belt on it before you start doing some stuff as long as it's right um, this, this pulley to this pulley to the to the right is the right spindle middle spindle 
over to this uh, guide pulley, left spindle, tensioner pulley, PTO pulley. So, one other thing I'm going to do, this deck is sitting too low in the back. I am going to take a half inch here, and this is the deck height adjuster. I'm going to adjust it down so that this is higher, and hopefully that gets the back of the deck up some. Uh, because it is kind of sitting a little bit low in the back and you don't want that because if you're you know mowing over sticks and stuff if it clears the front and your back is low it's well number one it's not really going to cut the best but number two you'll be running over stuff all the time with it uh, so we've got that going on oh it almost looks like we got a little bit of a bracket issue with the deck here too might have to tack, tack weld it or something along those lines. It kind of looks like it has been worked on just a tiny bit. So, might have to break out the welder, guys. Do a little bit of welding here. Oh, got her welded on that side as well as the front here. Oh, right there. Hopefully that'll be enough to keep it where it needs to be now and or at least take some stress off of the rest of the bracket back here i'm going to get this deck back on after i um give it a little bit of lift on that side with that nut i'll show you all that once i get it back on how you do that and we'll get the deck belt back on round it back around the pto uh, clutch and i'll button everything up and i'll rejoin you in just a second all right guys i put it all back together and leveled the deck the best that i could it does sit a little bit low i think the deck itself is actually bent so i've got it to where it is level as level as it's going to be honestly um, but that's kind of beside the point i hope you all enjoyed this video and saw how to replace the blades and the belts on this cope cadet rzt uh similar setup to most of these troy built cope cadet um, zero turns a lot of times I cheat with that deck belt and just pull it and I'm able to get it around that pulley. It is working a lot better now. All the vibration and stuff is gone because we've got the new belts on and uh, the new blades. So it's ready to go back to its owner. Driving a lot better too. Driving a lot smoother. It doesn't feel quite as sticky as well. I can't really demonstrate because of the darkness outside. But thank you all again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, Ellis at ellismowers.com or at ellismowers09 on Instagram and Facebook. I will catch you all on the next one. See you then.